uh, Brian Odongo, Captain Uganda Rugby Trains. Uh, keep watching Three Quarters Rugby Podcast. Thank you. Hey, good night. What? <laughs> Lizardy, <laughs> 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 Episode 28, part 1 of Kenya's Premier Sports Video Podcast, the Three Quarters Podcast. Today being the 11th of June, 2017, we are shooting from Ntinda in Kampala. And we want to start uh, by thanking our host for giving us this opportunity to shoot episode 28, which of course will be dropping in the course of the week on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. As always, we start by thanking the fans, the viewers, the subscribers and our followers for taking your time to watch an episode of the Three Quarters Podcast. And on behalf of the Three Quarters Podcast, all we say is Asanteni na Shukran Sana. Now, uh, with every passing week, of course, the road to Japan draws closer. As a matter of fact, uh, this weekend being the weekend of 10th uh, June 2017 and 11th June 2017, uh, we have been in Kampala to watch the Kenya Simbas take on the Uganda Cranes in what has been the first leg of the Elkhorn Cup. They start uh, what's going to be part of their World Cup qualifiers on the 24th of June in Nairobi when they take on uh, Uganda, which is also going to be the return leg of the, of the Elgon Cup. They then take on Tunisia and Senegal in Nairobi. They go to Bulawayo to take on Zimbabwe and finish up with a game against Namibia uh, in Windhoek. Therefore, uh, jump onto the road to Japan hashtag to support these boys because the truth and the fact of the matter is that the Kenya Simbas and the boys who play the game of 15s rugby are indeed the superstars of rugby in Kenya. This is Ngashi, official noisemaker. Jeringus, Kenyana. And we begin with uh, part one, uh, Elgon Cup, 10th June 2017 at the Legends Ground in Kampala. Uh, 23-18 to the Kenya Simbas. What are your thoughts about that game, Goose? Wow. What a physical, ga- physical game we had yeah. yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh, and I think it was a game of two halves. Yeah. yeah. Let's say the first half yeah. was Uganda's. Yes. The Sables, eh, the Sables <laughs> were quite strong for us. Yeah. Especially when it came to the rocks. Yeah. They were cleaning us out. Mm-hmm. They were securing the ball way much better than we did. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we were on the back foot. Yes. Because at halftime, they were, they were leading 18-10. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then come second half, I don't know what Power Water did uh, to, to the boys. To the, at halftime, yes. Yeah. Because these guys came out much better. Yeah. The symbols that, that we knew. Yes. Now we could see them in the second. Yes. Yeah, we ran the ball quite well. Yeah. Now with the with the Somo was having a very great game. Yes, something uh, wrong. We actually scored a try. Yeah. yeah. And then the game changer. Yeah. Isaac. Isaac Dimo, Adimo, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think uh, yeah, we enjoyed the both halves. Yes. Yeah. I think I mean the biggest issue for me, the biggest take home for us guys from this game has, has to be our rocks. Yes. Because we never won any breakdown situation that was their ball. And we lost a couple of our balls. A lot of our balls. And the breakdown is a very important part of the game of rugby. And if you, if you don't secure your breakdowns, then you're going to be having a long day in the, in the office. Yes. Of course, the introduction of Joshua Chisanga in the second half uh, changed in terms of our forward play. We were able to contain Chisanga Chenjanga. Chisanga Chenjanga. <laughs> we were able to we were able to contain the Ugandans. And then Isaac Adimo coming in at fly half. Wow. He dictated. He forced a couple of errors on um, on uh, Uganda side yes. that resulted in penalties. You know, we were able to go. Uh, to touch yep. and our two I have to give a shout out to our two second rows yesterday wow. uh, Simon Muniafu and uh, Oliver Mangeni these guys were very good at the line out wow. we stole a couple of their line outs yep. and uh, they, 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 they did put in some work in the engine room yesterday yes indeed yeah they did they did put in some work in the engine room mm-hmm. um, we of course we got there a bit early we got to the legends ground a bit early mm-hmm. what is general take about the atmosphere Hey, these guys can uh, really enjoy the sport. Yes. Yeah, because uh, the place was quite full. Yeah. Okay, by the time we got there, maybe the guys were uh, guys were still coming in. Yes. Slowly. Yeah. But by the time the uh, by the time kickoff, the, the game kicked off. Yes. You could see all round guys in 
the colors, respectful colors. Yes. A lot of Kenyans are surprised. A lot of Kenyans were there. Yeah. Yeah, and it was quite impressive. Yeah. The fanfare was lovely. You actually, you, you actually have to give a big up to the Kenyan supporters because yeah. we were we were quite a number at the stadium. Yep. Guys actually did take the trip to Kampala to come watch the Kenya symbols. And I big up, man, big up to yeah. our Kenya guys, Pogindonga, uh, Godfrey, Jatelo, <laughs> <Okot, and laughs> Collins <laughs> Nabisua, with the, the, tour, the uh, uh, captain, <laughs> the captain. For, for the tour. Yeah. Uh, the noise they were making in the yeah. stands was actually very good. Yeah. And I think it was actually a very good thing for the, for the crowd that was there for the symbols. Kenyans were quite loud. <laughs> yes, the, Ken the Kenyans were quite loud, and the guys actually did give us a reason. Something that I didn't understand though was uh, the V. What was the VIP tickets? V VIP. <laughs> it was a bit confusing, man. <laughs> you know, okay. Yeah. Just as you entered the grounds, down your right, there was yeah. a tent that had the V VIP sort of where guys could sit down. Though I don't, to be honest, I yeah. don't. It didn't make sense. Why are you coming to sit down? Yeah, why are you coming to sit down? There were very many guys who were paying just the VIP and going around and, and just coming. coming in. Yeah, so yeah. I, it didn't make sense. But anyway, that's that's not our problem. Yeah. That's the Uganda Rugby Union's problem. Yeah. And then, uh, also the crowds were quite good. Actually, I must know that. I, that one. I must give props. Yeah. Give their props grounds are actually legends. very good. They're quite excellent. Yeah, their grounds yeah. are very good, and it is a very good experience generally. Like traveling for rugby, it was actually a very good experience. Yeah. Coming to the game that's going to be on the 24th of June 2017, that's going to be the RFEA grounds. What do you think Kenya needs to work on from a technical perspective and also on an organization from an organization level to make it actually a very good, very good atmosphere for uh, both the fanatics of rugby and the fans in general? Uh. I think uh, when it comes to the game, mm -hmm. we our thoughts still need a lot of work. Yeah, uh, we can see some improvement from the, compared to the German game. Yeah, but uh, our racks, as you said, discussed just discussed. Yeah, they really loose. We need to be securing that ball. Yeah, we could see how Ugandans are very physical. These yeah. guys could sweep us. Yes. A couple of times they actually turned over. Our yes, yes, that's true. So I think we really need to work on our forwards mm -hmm. and uh, breakdowns, especially. Yeah. I think the lineup sets. When it comes to the set pieces, we are, we are quite good. Yes. I believe. Yes. Uh, maybe just polishing a little bit. Yeah. Here and there. Yeah. But uh, our racks, especially, and yeah. our backs are quite good. I yeah. think, and they should start with Isaac. Isaac Adimo. I think Isaac can start. However, he's he's, see, he's seeming more and more of an impact player coming off the bench. Yes, I, that's true. I, I, I don't know if starts if it still give the same impact yeah but it's just a matter of waiting we'll wait and see and see how, yeah, it, goes. how it goes that's true actually i mean we have a beautiful problem yeah. to have choice between isaac ademo and Biko Biko Ademo. Ademo. you have a very beautiful problem at number 10 and number Shidamzuri 10 Shidamzuri Sana. Shidamzuri Sana. so uh <laughs> mm. and that's from a technical perspective in terms of organization and atmosphere atmosphere and once again i think part of it is on us yes <laughs> we, yeah. get the, we get the fans there yeah as always we'll try and we'll, we'll spread the word yes we'll get the word out there kenyans yeah. ugandans yes Zebos and Yabos, yes. travel to nairobi there. yeah, yeah. Uh, the organization bit i think uh, the, I think uh, we had it right. Yes. Compared to okay, uh, in comparison with what we had with Germany game. Yes. I think the organization was quite good. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just maintain. You, you can yeah. just maintain and yeah. see how it's going to yeah. say. Notable takeaways from this trip. <sighs> Some lovely stuff. Yeah. Rugby is growing. Yeah. Becoming more and more bigger. Uh huh. We get it bigger and bigger, rather. Yeah. And uh, we can only wish that the game continues to grow yeah. as it as it is right now, even in Uganda. Yeah. Yeah. We saw a lot of fans there. And yeah. It was, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It is a, it is a beautiful yeah. game, and and it's good you're saying rugby is growing. I mean, Uganda have acquired the services of John Duncan, who's actually their coach, mm -hmm. and you can even see in their play it's improved. I mean, last year we won 48-10. Yeah. We just narrowly beat them 23-18. And, and we sweated. And lot. we sweated a lot. Philip Wokorach, Michael Wokorach, Brian, yeah. these guys were bringing it to us. Yeah. Ivan uh, Mago, I must mention the fly half. The fly, the fly. He was very good Fantastic. with his chip kicks. So mm. uh, it's good to see the game grow, and this dub is going to become. I can I can only imagine. Two, three years down the line, more people will be traveling yeah. towards the game here and likewise going back uh, yeah. to, to, to Nairobi. We are becoming a community. Exactly, we are becoming a community. Yeah. So that's it. You've had June 24th, 2017, our second leg of the Elgon Cup, and more importantly, it's the beginning of the Africa uh, Car Cup. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be Kenya Simbas versus the Uganda Cranes at the RFUEA grounds. Come out in numbers to support the Kenya Simbas because, as us guys keep on saying, these guys are indeed the superstars of uh, rugby in Kenya. That has been episode 28, part 1 of Kenya's Premier Sports Video Podcast, the Three Quarters Podcast. We never get tired to ask you guys to like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Ngashi, official noisemaker. Jerengus, Kenyana, Sebo. And stay, stay tuned for episode 28, part 2. <laughs>